Hello, and welcome to Chaos Craft. So, oh, oh, forget the love of Pete. Get out of my screen. Alright, so, we um, are seeing a lot of block placement right now. Unfortunately, only two of those are crafting tables. Um, we also saw the server crash last night, which is annoying. But we're seeing some pretty cool patterns of block placement here. You know? And they're digging these trees, which is good. For a while they weren't. So they've evolved past that. Oh man, I just started up a bunch of them. Okay, so something's wrong. Where they're not staying online right now. And I'm going to look into that. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out what's up there. But I just want to show you guys how they're terraforming the terrain around here. You know, we've got wood placement and water. We've got... Look at that. A, a, a weighted plate there. I think there's a button over here. But they still are just not organically getting past that... Um, ability to place... Uh, or to, to, cr to use the crafting table or to place the crafting table for that matter and they seem to really like to dig the heck out of the ground here yes yeah, they have left the game join the game I think we have some problem server side it's possible the database is just completely full and that is flaking out on us so I'll have to look into that um, but yeah we've seen some cool terraforming um, yeah, Rick's staying online, so Rick doesn't need the database, so it must be. I'm pretty sure it's it's something to do with the bot. So at 384, they're pretty active when they come in here. Someone just placed a block of wood. They're not still the smartest, and their behavior is still somewhat random, like putting that button on the wall. But I have some ideas on how to advance this behavior. So let's look at the stats real quick. I was just in the process of booting up the servers, so if you'll bear with me for one minute. I don't want that. I want its sibling server. There we go. And let's boot that up. And well, that's booting up. You guys can just skip ahead. This OBS thing had a pause button. It might be able to save us some time. But it does not. <laughs> just like I just moved the screen. I'm like, oh, please let there be nothing awkward and embarrassing in my browser right now. All right, it'll boot up in a moment. I'm going to take this moment to plug our Discord channel where you can hear some interesting conversations going on. Unfortunately, the bot runners, uh, we got we got to keep that conversation, some of this conversation in the main thing. We've had some really good conversations that is locked down on the bot runners channel, which is mainly so you know, particular IP addresses don't get exposed. But we've had some really cool conversations go down and some updates. Um, you know, so yeah, they started talking like Tango, Oscar, um, you know, so that's good. That's that's like they they actually that can mean something to other ones. It doesn't necessarily always mean something, but other ones can develop a neuron where they understand it. So I'm hoping they'll figure that out in time. But let's check out the leaderboard here. So let's look at place blocks, and remember place block successes, which is what we're looking at, is not always the most accurate. That has been, yeah, see it's, it's only tracked one of them, and there's been at least two of them that the server has tracked. Actually, probably more. But it looks like they place block egg successfully. Do tell, do go on. So this stat is really not blowing me away right now. Let's 
let's go for craft. And this is craft successes, which is a more reliable stat. And we're limited to what they can do without the crafting table. <coughs> so I need to get Adam back in there and do some more testing. But I think I, I might have mentioned that with Chaos Trainer, which is another project that I've been working on, see the YouTube videos, I can test things a lot faster because I can crank up the speed on it. And so I'm actually testing out newer and better methods of doing the fitness functions with different fitness functions, of course, because they're not doing the same, you know, survival as they are with this, uh, with, with Minecraft. Um, but I can test, you know, my neural net work better on that. So that's why you haven't seen a ton of updates for this, for Chaos Craft, is because Chaos Trainer is, I'm learning a lot from it right now. So, let's see if player collects. Oh yeah, they all sorts of weird stuff they're picking up. Gravel, dandelion, mushrooms, crafting tables, holy pads, apple seeds, flintstone not. Well, they can't plant seeds, that's right. They could possibly, no, they need metal to craft a lighter. Oh man, I kind of want to like, just throw a bunch of flint lighters into the game and just see what happens. That'd be kind of funny. Let's see what else we got. Kills? Only two people have killed, but I'm betting those are the octopuses. Octopi? Octi oh, we went through this at camp. At the camp I coach at. Um, I'm not seeing... Oh, wait, there was equip successes. Uh, we're not tracking what they're equipping. Wow. So my guess is the database is pretty darn full. Let's take a look at the counts of bots. 28,000. So 4,000 are done. I'm going to do a quick purge the database. That's probably what's happening is that we just filled the database. 28,000 is a lot for this database to handle. But I also have a better way of um, <coughs> after talking with Super Jerry, thank you, um, I have a better way of doing the bots um, based on what I did in Chaos Trainer. So we won't have a backlog of 28,000 that fills up the database. We can save ourselves some time. So once I get that method perfected with Chaos Trainer, then I will uh, go ahead and apply that here. So with that said, I think we covered everything. Oh, wait, uh, I have a new, well, I think I have a new Patreon person. I don't have your info pulled up, and I'm afraid it'll expose valuable info if I pull it up right now in front of everyone. Um, but uh, I will make sure to give you a shout out. Actually, I can pull it up on my other laptop. This is what I get for having four computers within arm's distance, not including the iPad. Oh, I'm not logged in on this other computer. Well, I'm not going to be... Alright, we'll I will do a shout out to this new Patreon person next time. In the meantime, hop on Discord, feel free to chat, uh, check out Chaos Trainer. If you're interested in the early alpha of Chaos Trainer, let me know. Um, I love it when you guys comment. I love it when you guys share this uh, with other people. I, I very much enjoy doing this. So, Alright, thank you guys, and uh, goodbye.